Hello, I will demonstrate how to measure water potential, but before that, uh, we need to know about theory of water potential and some expression in this area, like transpiration. And water potential, what's the meaning? As we know, 85 to 95% of most plant weight is consisted of water. And 95% of all water gathered by plant is evaporated by leaves. This process is called transpiration. Water moves from roots to leaves through uh, dead conducting cells of the xylem and then evaporate water by leaves. potential is, uh, quantifies the tendency of water to move from one area to another area and it's uh, modified by uh, solutes, by physical pressure and uh, vetable surfaces. So we can write this equation that uh, water potential is equal to Terger pressure minus osmotic pressure plus matrix potential. This matrix potential in most of the calculation is zero but this osmotic pressure is opposite the water potential and is uh, due to the uh, solutes that are in the solution but uh, Tager pressure is the force of cell contents against the cell wall. There are different ways to measure water potential in plants. The easiest way is Chardakov method. It's used for shoot and root water potential. Another one is pressure bomb. is used for uh, measuring water potential in plant shoots. Psychrometer is uh, used for uh, water potential in plant tissues. Cryoscopic osmometer is used for uh, water potential in, uh, not water potential exactly, it's uh, for osmotic pressure in solution. And uh, the last one is a pressure prop for the bomb for pressure cells. chamber or Scholander pressure chamber has got some advantages for example it is portable you can use in field in lab it is rapid measurement you can uh, measure quickly the water potential of plant and it is easy to use as well Yeah.